Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. Today I created a video tutorial showing you step by step how to create your own Halloween night lights using dollar store night lights, some glitter, spray frost, and some vinyl that I cut out using my Cricut machine. I love how these turned out. They were so simple and so much fun to create. Please hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon which will inform you when I post a new video. In design space and I found these really cool Halloween SVGs. I either found them here in Cricut and design space or I purchased them from design bundles but I will leave the link below for the ones that I purchased in design bundles. If you haven't really played around with design bundles I would highly suggest that I love it there it's where I pretty much purchase all of my SVG files. So going forward, so I changed these ones. So I'm using the Dollar Tree night lights, and I've done this video before, but I'm going to show a quicker version of this. Um, when Halloween comes around, these are my number one sellers. Uh, it cost me about a dollar and twenty cents to make these, and I sell them for about six to eight dollars, depending on how many colors I put into each one of these. So if you're interested in selling these, please go ahead and do so. I would love to hear if you put these in a store yourself or you sell them online, I would love to hear about it. So please share with me if you do. So like I said, these ones, I changed the size. So these ones are all two by two. My um, nightlight that I purchased from the dollar store is about two and a half by two and a half. So I just want to make it a little bit smaller than the whole thing itself. So the way I did that is you just select your image, you go up to the unlock box and you just change it here to be two by two, just like that. So that's all I did was went to the unlock box and then just change the size. You can also make it a little bit bigger if you want. Um, you know, just don't go over the two and a half by two and a half, um, just because it wouldn't look so great, but you do want to fill it up a little bit um, larger. So maybe like for this cat, you can see the eyes are going to be kind of hard to weed out. So maybe just stretch it a little bit and it would help just weeding the eyes out a little bit more. But you just want to make sure you don't go over the two and a half by two and a half, which I'm fine here. So another thing is, is if you want to change the color, you can go ahead and change the color. I'm actually going to keep all of mine black, and then I'm going to use different glitter, different spray paint on the back, different paint, you know, whatever, to kind of do the back a different color and leave the file itself just black. That's your choice if you want to do that. If you don't, you can go ahead in the color box and change it. So let's say I wanted this witch to be purple. So I select the witch, go up to the color box, and then find a purple color. And it, just like that, it changes for you. I'm going to change it back to black because when I cut this out, I want them all to be black. Also, another one with this. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you guys can see. It says trick or treat. So this one is actually um, attached to each other. So I'm going to go down here and push the detach button. And let's see if it lets me go further. So it does. So all of these will cut out individually. So if you wanted to go in here and change the trick to like orange, I'll show you that really quick. So I have it selected. I'm going to go up to the ungroup un button up here. Can't talk, guys. And it has this whole part um, selected. So I can change that to, let's say, orange. Let's go over here, find like orange color. And then the treat is going to be a different color. So let's say we wanted to change that purple. So here we go. Let's find a purple color. So it will cut out the trick. Uh, the orange and then the treat the purple and you can leave this as you want it I like the bat being black and let's say we wanted to change the candy color to I don't know lighter purple maybe so you can do it that way as well or you can just keep it the way I had it and just do the background color all one so I'm gonna go ahead and change this one back as well so it has a question mark up here because there's a whole bunch of different colors on here I'm gonna go ahead and change everything back to black then I'm also gonna change the size to be two by two again so when I cut this out it's not gonna be a weird size now because I ungrouped it up at the top here if I was were to cut this out it would cut everything out that way it would cut out the trick and the treat and the or all separately so I want it all to cut out as one piece so I'm gonna select all of it here and I'm gonna go to the attach button down here so as you see that changed this to a dark gray now so this is gonna cut out exactly as you see it it's not gonna be different pieces or anything like that so if you wanted to say do Chucky a different color. Again, you go to the color box. You can do like a red color if you want, you know, whatever color you want to do these, but that is how you do it. So now you just want to go to the make it. Actually, I'm going to teach you one more thing. 
So I already went and did this. So for each one of these, um, basically all of them come as different pieces or different layers. So what I always do is go down to the attach button for each one of these. So this one actually, these two are actually one whole piece. You couldn't separate it if you wanted it to. But here you see all of these would be cut out separately. So just go down here to the attach button and push that. So it says detach here because I already attached it. Does that make sense guys? So if you're following along and you're liking this video, please leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I try really hard to teach everybody step by step as I learn and as I learn to do things and I want to teach other people how to do it as well. If you know something better or easier for someone to do, please leave a comment down below. But I am trying my best to show you guys how to do these things and I do I sell in two stores and I do absolutely amazing I make at least 150 to you know well, I would say probably 50 to 150 dollars per store per month so if you're not in a store I would highly suggest finding some stores around your area and if you're kind of nervous about that and you really don't know how to do it I actually do sell an ebook in case you're interested in learning more about this um, I will leave it in the description below it's, you can purchase it on my website, I Create Crafts, um, but it teaches you all about that, like how you could, should go, what you should do, what kind of things to sell, you know, basic stuff like that, but it's a ton, a ton of information. I wish I would have known this stuff before I started selling things, so I thought I would put it all together for you guys. So if you're interested in that, please go check it out, I Create Crafts, I will leave it in the link below, um, but going forward with this, so I attached everything, I'm leaving them all black, I'm going to just push the make it button and it is going to put it on one black mat for me again if you have different colors it will put different mats on the side here for you um, but since mine are going to be all black this is how it's going to look so what I like to do is actually go in here and give myself a little room that I can take my scissors and cut in between here a little bit easier but not wasting any vinyl here so I'm just trying to find a little bit of space I'm sorry, it's kind of harder to see because it is black on black, but I'm just moving it so I can cut my get my scissors in here and cut each one. So I'm going to go ahead and click, click continue, and I'm going to show you which uh, setting I absolutely love using. So if you guys are a new subscriber, thank you for coming, or if you're a new viewer, thank you for coming. Please hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. But for those of you who are new and don't really know my channel much, I hate the Cricut Vinyl. I don't know, maybe it's just me? Is it me, guys? Leave a comment down below. Do you guys like the Cricut vinyl? Am I doing something wrong? I hate the Cricut vinyl. I buy whatever's on sale on Amazon, and that's what I always use. So the reason I'm telling you that is because this is the material, the base material that I use, stencil vinyl. <laughs> you can kind of see here, heat transfer, non-Cricut. So I really do not like the Cricut brand. It does not work well for me. So this is the base material that I use right here. So I'm just going to click on that. And then I'm going to cut this out. Um, I've done a video previously on this before showing you how to reverse weed. But I'm telling you for these little guys, it really, really helps. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I'm going to cut a couple of them out. And then I'm going to show you the reversed weed, especially for this that is so small and little pieces it's so much easier than trying to weed out each one of these pieces all right guys so now that we have everything weeded out and cut out i'm going to show you the next steps i'm going to show you a few of them that i already finished so here is pennywise if you can see him um, and then i glittered the back of this so i'm going to show you how to glitter these they are so simple to do here is another one this one is red and again um some glitter on the back so these are the ones that I already printed out. So I have a couple of choices here that we're going to be doing. And so I'm going to show you. Here is just the regular nightlight. You just buy these from the dollar store. They look like this. So you just unpackage it. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your um, project is clean and free of lint and everything. So just take some alcohol and a paper towel. And then you just want to clean both sides really well of this. And then as it sits and dries... You want to take a piece of tape and then put it on the back side. So I'm going to put the file on the front and the back side I'm going to put the glitter on. So what you want to do is actually here it has a little ridge. Sorry, I'm trying to, there we go. So it has a little ridge on here. I'm going to just take the tape and go up as close as I can to the plastic and then push it down. 
because I don't want any glitter going on there. So you can do this if you want to like spray paint it too. You can spray paint this as well. I also have some frosted glass here that I use too. Um, I think I'm actually going to use it on this one. I have a little cat here and I didn't know what color to do. So I think I'm actually going to do the frosted glass behind it. So I did the same thing. Just put some tape on here and then you go outside or, you know, somewhere where it's open, you won't smell it and you just spray it on here. So I'm going to save that part. You guys know how to spray paint things. So I'm not going to show you, but I'll show you what it looks like in the end after it's done. But you want to make sure you put some tape on it so it doesn't go everywhere. So that's what I did with this one. So now that it's all dry, you're going to take some Mod Podge. And here is a huge bottle of Mod Podge I bought. I think I got this. I think I got this one actually from Amazon. Normally I go to Hobby Lobby and buy them, but I just happened to order this one off of Amazon. And this thing goes a long, long way. So I'm just going to take a foam brush. Just all you need is a little bit. Dip it in and then go over. One thing I did forget is actually a plate. You should have everything in front of you ready to go before you do anything, and I forgot a plate. So please, when you are ready to do this, please make sure that you have everything ready to go. So what you wanna do is just take your Mod Podge and your brush, and then just go over here, light strokes, and make sure you get the whole thing. This is where the tape really comes in handy because then you're not going to get any of that glue up on top here where you don't want it. So I'm just making sure that I have it everywhere. Nice, long, straight stro strokes, if I can talk. And then you're going to want to take some um, sp uh, sprinkles, some glitter, whatever color you want. So I have purple, orange, red, and then I also have a black over here. Um, I bought these three from Walmart. I think it was a couple bucks for those, but those also go a really long way. So instead of a paper plate, I'm actually going to use a paper towel, which isn't going to work as well. I highly suggest using a paper plate because then you could put it in back easily. So let's see. I'm going to do this trick-or-treat one here. It happens to be a holographic, kind of orangish, kind of greenish color. So I think... Hmm. I'm actually going to go with the purple color. So I'm going to take the cover of the glitter off and then I'm just going to sprinkle it right over the whole thing. See how thick it is on here? Then you just want to take it and tap it off. Just like that. So if you can see it on here, I don't know how well it shows up, um, but I see streaks in it in the front part here. Whoops. Sorry guys, again, new camera angle. <laughs> trying this out, it's my husband's camera, so I'm really trying to get this. It's going backwards for me. So if you can see, there's a little bit of streaks in here. So I'm gonna leave this one and I'm gonna let it dry completely, let the Mod Podge dry, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take the Mod Podge and I'm gonna go over it, and then I'm gonna put the glitter back on it again, and then it should be a lot darker. So once it's finished, it's gonna actually look like this on both sides. And then for the third and final part, once you once you have have all of your glitter on here as thick as you want it you want to take another layer of Mod Podge and go over here so I'm just gonna cut this video a little bit shorter so you guys know how to do this so once you have this one done you'll let it sit for a while because as you can see it's not very thick so as you can see it's really cloudy and this is the side I didn't do it it's really cloudy when that Mod Podge dries you will not see any of this so you want to make sure you don't have any streaks in the back that's why I said long uh, strokes of the Mod Podge and don't leave like layers of it on because if you do it's just going to goop up on here. So I'm going to let this one dry and then I'm going to do another one really quick and show you. So what I do with my glitter and like I said this would be so much easier with a paper plate is I fold it in half and then put it right back into your glitter container. So that one is finished. Then I have another one this one here, it says black cats only. So I thought that was really cute. Oh, come on. There we go. Black cats only. So I thought that was cute for Halloween. Maybe we can do like even a red one for this or, you know, even orange. You know, I don't know. What color would you guys use for this? Black cats only. I can't do black because it would be black on black. And I have red and orange. What color would you guys do? I think I'm going to try the red ones. But just doing the same process, taking your... Um, night light, washing it really well with um, some alcohol and a paper towel, and then putting some tape on the edge. Like I said, you could spray paint these as well. You do not have to just Mod Podge and use glitter. You can also spray paint this. So again, I'm just going over the top here where I do not want 
the Mod Podge to go. It's just easier this way than trying to take your brush and go up here. So this is makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna take some Mod Podge really quick again and then just do the same thing, just glide it on. Trying to not go on the front at all. Like if you go on the front, you can always just take, you know, your paper towel with some alcohol on it and rub it off because you don't wanna have that um, glitter on the front. So there, as you can see, it's really on there well. There we go. So you see the lines here, which is okay. As long as you don't have a lot of bunch and a lot of spots in one spot, you're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna take my red and then just do the same process. I'm gonna show you the next step. So what you wanna do is put some transfer tape over what you're doing. So I'm just gonna take a piece of transfer tape. And everybody always ask, what kind of transfer tape do I use? Well, this is my huge, huge roll. I love this stuff. Um, it is called Fiskars, I believe, and I love it. It goes a long way. I used to buy dollar store stuff, but that just wasn't sticking as well or had like a sticky residue every time I took it off. So I just buy this off of Amazon. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested in it. But I'm just gonna take a little bit and snip a little bit off of here. And the reason I really love this brand is I can use this over and over and over. I, I, it takes me, I have pieces all over the place because I reuse it so much. So you just wanna take a little scraper and then scrape your vinyl onto your transfer tape. And then what I like to do is take the whole thing and flip it upside down and kind of make sure everything comes off. And if it doesn't, you can just push it down right away make it go back in place. So there, now oh, it's on here. There we go. Come on, to focus. There we go. <laughs> then what did I say? The red one I was gonna use. So I'm gonna take this red one. It's not dry all the way. So I'm gonna carefully take the red one. And you know what guys, now that I'm thinking about it, probably would have been easier to redo this the other way. But like I always say, I'm honest with you guys. And if I make a mistake, I don't want you to make the same mistake. So, I mean, you could obviously do it the glitter first and then go back and put on the vinyl, but because of the video purposes, I'm gonna show you quickly without letting this dry all the way on how to do this. So it's, I guess it's up to you on your preference if you wanna put the vinyl on first and then spray paint or glitter it, or if you want to you know, do it the opposite way and do the vinyl first. So I'm gonna switch this around so you guys can see this. So basically all I do, doing this upside down, Trying to find the center of this. You guys see that? A little off. Find the center here. It's hard working upside down, guys. There. So I wanna find the center. Then I'm just gonna take my squeegee and rub it on really well. And I'm gonna show you a mistake that I made because I did not let it dry all the way. Whoops, don't go on there. I'm getting ahead of myself, guys. Then you just wanna peel back your transfer tape. And like I said, I'm gonna use this transfer tape forever. So I'm just gonna put it to the side with my other ones and use it again. So here it is. There we go. Come on to focus. There we go, black cats only. So I'm gonna show you a mistake that I made because I did not wait. So as you can see on here, I have a little mark here and a little mark over here that I messed up with my finger. I have glitter on my finger now. If you do that, do not panic. Your next step with putting on more glitter is going to take care of that. So if you make a mistake like I did and I touched it, you can go back when this is dry. I will show you the next step. When this is dry, I'm gonna go over it again with the Mod Podge and put the sprinkles or the glitter back on it as well. So I'm gonna show you that. So I'm gonna let these dry really quick, these two, and then work on a couple other ones that I have. But I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. They look like this when they are all finished. So awesome. And they look amazing when they light up at night too. So I'm going to finish putting the vinyl on here and I'm going to let these sit and then I'll show you the next step of putting more Mod Podge on. Okay guys, so here I am finished with the first coat and it is completely dry to the touch. You can see how it turned out. This is the Black Cats one. I did this purple trick or treat one. This will come into view. There we go. And um... So it, it looks like this. So depending on how many coats you want to put on this, I don't know if you can really see it, but it looks, you can tell from the back if it's gonna come in. Um, can't really see it on screen too much. That um, you can see it's not really 
thick enough on the back. So I'm going to put another coat on this. Um, but this red one, I actually put another coat on so it's a little bit thicker on both sides. But I'm going to show you how to finish this up really quick. So without taking the tape off, you're going to want to take a foam brush like you just were using. And I'm just going to use another, a new foam brush. And this is just how you seal it. So you're going to do the same thing, but you're not going to put glitter on it. So you're just going to gently go over this and just fill everything in. And it might take up a little bit of glitter, but it really should not take up a lot, if anything. So I'm just very, very lightly pulling this as I'm going. So this is just the sealer, basically, that you want to put on here. And it doesn't, you do not want to put a lot on. It'll go a long way. But you're just sealing in all of that glitter on here. So you want to make sure that all the back part is completely white. And again, you will not see this white. It will dry clear. But that is how you seal it. So this one is finished after it's done drying. You just have to take off the tape on the back, which I'm going to leave on until it's completely done drying. So for this one, I'm going to show you. So I want another coat on here. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go ahead and take your Mod Podge and then gently go on here. Pretty much the same way that we just did. And then go over it with the color that you were using. You want to get all the spots, making sure that everywhere is white. And I made a mistake, I can see on this side I got some Mod Podge, so I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel and just wipe it off. Because wherever you put your Mod Podge is where your glitter is going to go, so you want to make sure that you have it nice and clean. So again, I'm just going to take a piece of paper towel, because I still don't have a um, plate, and I'm just going to pour the purple right over this. And you can do this as many times as you want, as thick as you want it but just like that. So then I'm gonna finish it the same way I just showed you. I'm just, once it dries, and it dries to the touch, you're gonna wanna go over with the Mod Podge again, and then that's it, that's how you seal it. So it is as easy as that. You can use spray paint if you want. It doesn't have to be glitter and Mod Podge. You can use uh, any kind of spray paint that you want. Um, but that's how they turned out. I absolutely love how these look. This one comes in, this is the trick or treat one. There we go, trick or treat. I love this one. I think this is my favorite one because it's the holographic vinyl. So I love how this turned out. Do you guys like this video tutorial? Did I do a good job? Did you learn something new from me? Please give me a thumbs up if you did it and leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys if you like these and uh, I would love to know what you guys want to create with these. You can do these for Christmas. I've done these for Christmas already and they turned out really awesome, but these were like during Halloween time, these were probably my number two sellers. So my egg cartons were always first, then my Starbucks cups, and now during Halloween time, it's these. So go ahead and try your own. I had my husband stop at the Dollar Tree <laughs> and buy me a whole bunch more of these. So I'm definitely going to be doing um, a lot more, but it was that simple. Just some Mod Podge, some glitter, and then some vinyl, and then your Dollar Tree thing. So I think Probably all together I put in like $1.50 for this whole project. So you can always sell these. I sell these for $8 a piece and it sells really well for me. So I, again, I hope this tutorial helped you out. Please give me a thumbs up. If you like this video tutorial, hit that, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already for more step-by-step -step videos. And also be sure to check out my ebook I created. It's under icreatecrafts.com and it's a full ebook on how to make money and how to sell things, where to look, everything you need to know to start a craft business. I put my heart, soul, and thoughts into it. So go ahead and look at that and let me know what you think about that. But anyways, guys, take care, happy crafting, and as always, have fun. Bye, guys.